it seems like a lot of information, but you know, it's not a complicated story. It's not subtle. There's not a lot of mysteries to tease out of this. I mean, scientists, it's, it's so often we pose ourselves questions and we may find answers, but it's like, well, this one is 20% higher or this one's 5% higher. We think it's this, we think it that, it's that. This is actually a very, very straightforward story that we have here. We know that PAHs are increasing in urban lakes nat nationally. We know that coal tar based seal coat has exceptionally high PAH concentrations. And I say exceptional relative to the other sources that are out there. The particles are mobile. They don't stay on the parking lot. That's why you have to resale your parking lot every two to three years. And its use is extensive. In many of the watersheds that we've mapped, uh, about 40% of the parking lots are covered in coal tar based seal coat. It, it may be higher here in Springfield. I know that there's a, just from what I've seen in the last four hours, however long I've been here, there is quite a bit of use of seal coat. Um, in one of the watersheds that we mapped, like in the hills in Chicago, Illinois, 5% um, of the total watershed area was covered with seal coated parking lot. We, f we found that PAHs in house dust were elevated because they were being tracked in from the seal coated parking lots. And finally, our recent research is corroborating that coal tar based seal coat we think is the largest contributor of PAHs to urban lakes and is responsible for the increases in PAHs that we're seeing in lakes across the country.